Hi, Mandy. Hey, James. How are you? Good. We're going to talk about uh, Pharmacy Week. Uh -huh. uh, as a part of Pharmacy Week, which will be between October 16th and 20th, we're going to take a look back at uh, some of our accomplishments in the pharmacy um, and some of our accomplishments uh, inside of the organization. It's been so, a great year. It's been an incredible year. It's been a lot of fun. Um, we've uh, done well in all three of the pharmacies, I think, yes. from uh, an accomplishment perspective, both uh, financially um, and staff-wise. Um, in terms of staff, um, we have uh, some uh, outstanding accomplishments. Uh, we look at uh, Alora Wilson um, yes. becoming one of the uh, uh, board-certified oncology pharmacists, one, I believe, of 85 in the two-state area. That's amazing. Um, most folks do not uh, pass the exam on their first try, and she did. That's amazing. That's incredible. That's incredible. So one of the other things with your help and support was uh, we created a tier system for the technicians. Yes, that program has been awesome. I'm so proud of our um, pharmacy techs here. I think we had, was it eight? Eight. Eight total that um, went through the career ladder um, and just so impressed with our talent and expertise um, to take care of our patients and promote patient safety out of the pharmacy. Right. And in a number of areas, right? So we have some of the techs who are certified in MedRAC, some of the techs who may be certified in some of the billing areas, some of the techs who have accomplished some areas in oncology pharmacy. Um, it's a great, great uh, program and their certification. I uh, really engaged the technicians, uh, really got them going. Uh, and as a follow-up, uh, Kelly uh, Klein uh, was named the, one of the Maryland uh, Hospital, I'm sorry, Maryland Pharmacy Associations. I believe she was the Technician of the Year. Tech of the Year. Yeah, she was. She um, demonstrated amazing performance and, again, somebody that has professionally developed herself over the years here at Atlantic General and um, great accomplishment. Right, right, right. So if we look at the pharmacists and we look at um, um, like Alora, um, we look at a, the, some of the accomplishments of Anna uh, mm -hmm. in the inpatient setting. This year, Anna um, appeared at a national conference and presented. Yep. Uh, I believe in Memphis, I had the opportunity to go as well. If we want to look into some of the accomplishments of Ready Scripts, that staff has just performed at an incredibly high level. Um, I believe they're one of the few pharmacy groups that actually do, um, are preparing to do, uh, providing hormonal therapy for the women in this community. Absolutely. Cutting edge, um, top of their game at all times, um, and Coastal um, Award Pharmacy of the county this year. Yeah. So that was awesome. Right. Yep. That's rare. Um, uh, you have a... a pharmacy inside of a hospital um, that's recognized in the community at that level. I agree. And that, I again, goes back to um, the knowledge and expertise, as well as just patient-centered care that I believe that our entire pharmacy team here at Atlantic General, they put their, um, typically, you know, pharmacy may not be as patient-facing as some of the other areas, but I feel that this pharmacy is very patient facing, whether they're down in the retail pharmacy or they're up in the inpatient area, they're out talking to patients and families as well as over at the cancer center, um, which really, um, you know, continues to improve our patient experience and provides that safety for our patients. Right. And I think Jeff has done an incredible job from a leadership perspective, preparing um, that pharmacy for the new facility in Ocean Pond. Absolutely. That's exciting. So now we're going to phase two of Ready Scripts Pharmacy and very successful team that I know will be successful over at Ocean Pines as well. Right. Um, some of the things that Karen has done is led um, the MTM program. I think she has about 250 patients in, yes. the world, in the program. Yes. And that's a wonderful program. I'll just speak to you. I hear about it all the time out in the community with our health department, with our mobile integrative uh, community health program. Um, they are constantly talking about the excellent care um, from Karen and the MTM pharmacy that our patients in our community are given by that program. Right, right. And I, I need to say thank you to Jordan for all of her support yes. uh, that she pour, uh, performs as a part of the operational aspects of the pharmacy, but also working with Karen uh, in the development of the MTM area. 
and the technicians down there are like a godsend. Um, I have neighbors who recall their experience uh, when they go into that uh, pharmacy, uh, just loving the interaction between the technicians and, and them. Yep. So uh, we look at, uh, again, some of the opportunities in the inpatient setting, uh, some of the accomplishments uh, in terms of how well do we manage, how well do we steward the pharmacy product. I think some of the things that Michael has done um, and Kelly has partnered with him to help us manage the inventory uh, in that pharmacy. We've seen an actual decline in dollars. We've seen a decline in purchases, which is, which agrees with our overall strategy uh, to lower the overall cost of the pharmacy area. So I absolutely agree. And I just want to wish every pharmacist and pharmacy tech out there um, happy pharmacy week. We could not do this without you. Um, constantly inspired by the level of commitment that um, the pharmacy team here has to Atlantic General and to the safety of our patients. Um, when I think about pharmacy, I think about medication safety and really the um, champions of medication safety. So thank you all very much for all that you do to serve our community here at Atlantic General. And happy pharmacy week, uh, October 16th through the 20th. Thank you.